Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, welcome back to the Champion of DLC Challenge with Marina Freaking Mistfire, standing here in Milchar, a very vast dungeon with many doors and many secrets. We are here seeking an artifact for the coming storm quest. I don't know in what room it resides, all I know is that there's plenty of nastiness on the way. Luckily, not the worst type of... You know what, maybe I shouldn't speak considering he just stunned me quite a bit. Or she, it is a matron after all. Can you feel the love tonight? I can't. Because you're treating me like trash. Thank you. Get the ichor for more potions. There's something exciting down there. We'll check that out in a second. Oh, there's so many of them. All right. What is a glass display? Ah, uh, this is peculiar. Oh, I have to actually on this. Okay. Okay, that is actually kind of fun. No, I wanted it to shoot on me. Oh, yes. Alright, they're moving below me. I've been messing up their little, uh... Whoa, their little display. There's a noble over here. No prop. I should, I should make like an outfit of anti-stagger. Just boost my agility real high. Whoop. So, there was a staircase here where he was able to sneak up on me. And a very hard chest containing the most exquisite treasure. And, you know, I'll take that. And let's go up here, meeting a Ballywog. Gotta love him. Speaking of Ballywogs, we also gotta remember that we have that... That we have that quest to bring some creature back to what's her face in what's that village? It's been a while. Taxonomy of obsession. Marilly wants us to get an elytra for her, so it would probably be an elytra out in the wild. It's probably gonna be the easiest. That's also something that we want to do. Probably gonna take a while, but it's gonna be a nice little break from the dungeon clears. Let's get that acre. Oh no, don't shoot at me. Anything but that. That's so bad for me. Yum, nom, 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 nom. Hello. Mr. Gnarl. Gnarls think they're so tough, but I know their secret. Loading screen told me. If I first use shock and then I miss with the first fire spell, which is just a... It's just routine by now. It's a tradition. We can go here. Uh, oh, nice! You know what? No, can we not? Can we... Yeah, let's... Let's not do that. I've totally lost track of where we are by now. This is huge. Oh my... Look at this layout! All right, let's find start findings on dead ends. That's good. That's good. Because I could also have gone because I came in from the nexus over there, and I could continue further over here. Was there anything? All right, there was a gnarl over here and a little end end room thingy. All right, very cool, very cool. Finger that gnarl. And then, please wait. Please wait. Thank you. Oh, that didn't really do. Didn't really do. I guess I'll just have to slap you around like a... It is an Elder Gnarl. Pretty big. Pretty... Where did he shrank into the stairs? Okay. Good goods. So far off to a good start. Ah, uh, there's a trapdoor underneath me. What? That's mean. It's very mean. It's just a couple of... Oh! Is that, that's the Elder Gnarl. He's back from his little trip under the stairs. Had to go in timeout. 
All right, very good. Don't know why I take your bark. Just to spite you, I guess. All right. And there is actually a passage one could take in here. Well, all right, we're, st we're starting to map it out. We're starting to map out this room here. We've got to keep our eyes open to see if we can find... the treasure within. Let's get the Mother's Mercy charged up there. Where are you going? Some ichor. Very good. What was that sound? Everything's falling apart. This place needs a... Here we go. And that's the metal door I closed earlier for comedic effects. Is there something there? Maybe? Realm of Sheogorath, you say? Oh. Interesting. One could actually enter from here. I find that quite fascinating. Oh. All right. Let's make our way back so that I can check out that one path, and also we didn't clear everything in here. This matron's been sneaking around when we haven't seen her. Very clingy, this girl. Very clingy. So we'll put him down. Charge up our weapon. Let's just suck up her ichor. Mm -mm -mm. And instead of going there, we go... Oh, this better be war. All right. I think those were filled, so that's okay. Soul gems I'll always take. They're good in a pinch. And we're out. All right. So far, haven't found what we're looking for. Let's check out the next one. I gotta clear all these rooms either way. Satrem. Oh, more elytra. Nice. Nice. I'll take the Ichor. How are we looking on the Restore Magicka front? 76 of them so far, and we should probably have plenty of... 8 Ichor. We do have 20 Blister Pod caps, though, so I'm not too worried. We'll be alright. We'll be alright. Sure, you can stand there. You can stand there looking menacing. It's not gonna get you very far, because I'm fearless. Nerves of steel. Maybe that just turns him off. Just in case it does something else. Hello, Gnarl! Funny seeing you here. There's a chest behind you. I am curious about the contents of that chest, so I was wondering if you would let me pass. I would appreciate it so much. Thank you. So, that's another skill book. So our story uh, about the northern princess, where there was this prince from the lands down south who appeared, who was uh, quite hot, and he had a seductive charm about him. He came to her land saying that he was seeking uh, the relic of a shield, when in fact he was trying to escape the oppressive grasp of his father. He didn't want to follow the fate that had been laid out before him, and instead seeked out adventure in the north. Well, what happened next? We'll have to see. We will have to see. Yeah, I get some golds. It's always fun to find those spell tomes lying around. I don't really fare too much for them right now. I know I'm going to get what I want to get in some way or another. Are we almost done with this section? That's nice. That's lovely. First, though... It seems smacking a gnarl around is the best way of dealing with them instead of spells. Even though the enchantment is based on gauntlets of... A two-headed septum? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That's so cool. Gauntlets of punishment. Kinky. I'll take him. Very good. That's fun. That's a fun little rarity. Oops! We could bring to the museum. All right. Ah, look at that. A little elytra. I can understand where a lot of the side quests in the shivering... Oh, get off. Ow, ow. Yeah, you come over here and, and let me see if you can... Where am I? 
this is a very good place to be. And I can see where a lot of the side quests of the Shivering Isles comes from, because so many of them are collecting various things found in dungeons. Because so many quests already lead you to dungeons, so it's nice to have more than one reason for going into a place. I'll take the Icker. And an urn very hard. Take all. Whoa! Whoa! Ha! Whoa! Milchar Nexus. Back out! Very good. Oh, this poor skeleton had a bad day. This means I'm gonna go around. It seems like this would also lead out to the realm of Sheogorath, so... I'm not too interested in seeing where that leads since it's just back outside. I still have not found what I came here seeking, but there's only one more route for us to take. Tiras. Let's have a little look then. Hello, Elytra. How are you doing? She's a little shy. I'll take the Icker. Oh, wow. We're gonna get some of those scaly boys. Ballywogs and Scalons. Gonna get some more diversity up in here. So we have a door over here. Oh! That's what you want to see on the other side of a door. Aw. I think you've had a bit too much to eat lately. It's gonna be hard to follow me through this door. Alrighty. What's here? Chatter Hall? Oh, it goes deeper. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. All is good. This is what we want. Let's go. Oh, that was beautiful. I think mushroom... Unrefined green moat. Yes, I do want to pick mushroom... Um, mushroom. Oh, hulking scale on! The original Leapy Boys. Whoa. They did it before the Mountain Lions. Mountain Lions just copied them. Poor imitation. Hello? I wish you could have a torch out as you were fighting. There's just something about the nice, comfortable glow of the torch that I really appreciate. And having to choose between that and a shield. Mmm, man. I'll take that. Not to interrupt your breakdance. Alright, Realm of Sheogorath is right out here. But we aren't leaving just yet. Very interesting dungeon, though. Like all the different, like it feels like several separate instances instead of just one long Realm of Sheogorath, right? And then we go... So we could go to the Chatter Hall. I don't really want to right now, because we could go to... There are other places to check out. Down here, for instance. Repair hammers. Ring of Blades. That's also pretty... Pretty bad. About to be over encumbered. Probably should have sold off while we were in town, but... Yeah, no. Oh, I need some charge. There we go, that's the charge I needed. And then I probably need to use some... Um, greater Soul Gem. I'll use that. Oh, it's just a little... Just a couple of extra goodies here. Alright, I guess we're going to the Chatter Hall. Which is like the... So you have the Nexus zone, then we have that zone, that zone, that zone, this. This is this gonna be like the sixth zone of Milchar. Alright. This is ominous. Diligence Crux. It's frozen shut. It's frozen shut. If I could get him to, like, spew something on it, that might work. Ritual Torch? Can be held by any, but owned by none. So you're saying... Oh, that... That's clever. That is so clever. 
So they have to like light these on either side. Because there was a there was a flame on one of them. Let's see, ritual torch. Wait, where did where did the? Yes, I understand. But oh wait, do I have to light? Oh okay. So it's not those I place it on, but I go to the edges of the room, light this. This seems so sketchy, you could probably lose this item very easily. And then I light that. How am I gonna do that all so fast? Because I can't really move all that fast with this without it just flying off. Okay, maybe I just don't drop it. Maybe it's just about not dropping it. Walk nice and calmly. No, I- that's not possible. By the time I reach that, that one goes... Oh my gosh, surely there's another way. Are these treasures up here? I don't think so. How? Uh, oh boy. I must be missing something. That can't be it. I'm too fast, actually. Because if I run... Oh, life hack! That was that was that was nice. I can run on top of a torch in midair. Let me try that again. Like it, do, it it doesn't work. Uh, could I somehow slow myself down? I don't. Hold on. You know what could work? Telekinesis, probably. Because I, I can't run with this thing, and I can't walk with this thing. Telekinesis might hold it more in place. Remote manipulation. Oh my gosh, big brain. BIG BRAIN! Amulet of Disintegration. Armor and weapon disintegrate 10,000 points on self. That would have been so good. Yes, coming storm all complete. That would have been so good when we were training armor. So, for example, let's say I equip like some glass armor. Oh, it's the fashion. Let's say I just go wild and we have like a mithril curus. Oh, there's... This is beautiful. Then I need a cool helmet, of course. Let's say I equip all of this. But then I also equip the amulets. Gudush. That should destroy... Yeah, so it destroys one every time you equip it. Gudush. So that was the gloves that now broke. Very interesting and very useful amulets. Also, it weighs zero, so you could theoretically reverse pickpocket that onto somebody to break their weapon or armor before fighting them. Such a cool little gadget right there. I love the utility of that. All right, let's get let's get our good gear on. Very good. All right, get out of my grasp. That, that was a good, that was good. I had to think on that one. And it was made particularly difficult because I was so fast. Like, if you were too slow, it was gonna suck. If you were too fast, it was gonna suck. But remote manipulation, or telekinesis rather, just held it in place. Which was kind of fun. Uh, don't ask me why I'm charging those up. I just decided to do it. I was in a kind mood today. And I'll ding up on that. Cool, cool, cool. All of that was very cool. It says there's something here, but it really isn't. Just lies. Lies, lies overall. Realm of Sheogorath. Let's, let's just get out of here right now. So, that's been a good, good start to the episodes. 
Got a badass amulet, solved some great mysteries. And we can wrap up the coming storm. And I missed an enemy here, apparently. Somebody's coming for me. Oh, hello there, mister. How are you? Uh, all right. Mm-hmm. Badoosh. I don't think I need to pick up any more amber. I need to start making those armor sets soon. Ah. And a little goodie. A little goodie outside. So, Milcher is cleared. That's good. What's next? We could go straight to the Howling Halls, I suppose. At the same time, it is quite a ways away. And we could stop by town first, and I think that's exactly what we're going to do. I think we still need more stuff for the Museum of Oddities. But for the coming storm, we're gonna head back, deliver in that, and sell off some goods so that I can hoard more. And I look forward to seeing us get even closer to the two million mark. Mm. All right. Not sure why we pulled out the weapon. It was just a, a threatening gesture. That's just habit by now. I'll see you in town. Okay, we are back at things found in the trash, which is locked because it's 6.30 and she is tardy. There we go. All right, got the amulet. Have you found anything for me? Mm-hmm. The amulet of disintegration. Thank you. It's one of the keys to my safety in the coming times. Why would you want to wear that? Because when they come for me, I'm not going to let them have my stuff. No way. I believe that's everything. It is. It is. You've done so well. You deserve a reward. Let me teach you a special spell. It will affect all those around you. You might find it handy to cause confusion in your enemies. You know, when the time comes. Quest complete. Adjazda's Paranoia. A frenzy spell, is it? Ooh. Let's have a little look. It is considered frenzy up to level 25 in 50 feet for 10 seconds on touch. That's a really strong power. Can you get that at any stage in the game? Cause or does does it scale? Cause that's that's really, really strong. Cast that in a city and it's just game over. Yeah. Your lips to his ears. My junk in your trunk. No, that's not. I want to sell stuff. I didn't mean to make it weird. Any day now. Never know what might save your hide. I'm gonna buy the amulet of disintegration back. I hope you get some use. It's just that. too cool for school. Ring a desiccation she can keep. The calming pants. Uh, I don't want to see them again. It just makes me think about Fimian, and I don't want to think about Fimian. A wise choice. <laughs> a wise choice not thinking about a Fimian. Wise choice. Alrighty. Time to sell. 193,000 gold. Still really heavy. I think a lot of it has to do with the madness ore and all of the matrices that I'm carrying around. But I kind of want to just make all of it in one go, you know? So, all right. If the world hasn't ended, I'll be here. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Feeling a little lighter. A little. And having done that quest, it's making me feel pretty good. Right now, we need to go seek out Serta in the Howling Halls, which is just outside of town. So I say let's head over there straight away. All right. We got Scalens walking the bridge, just patrolling, just doing their duty. Just doing their duty. We also have a couple of blister pods, I believe. We have about 20 or so. So we got some we got oh. some backup potions. I don't think potions are gonna be an issue. I'm just constantly dreading entering a dungeon. 
and realizing, oh boy, there are no potions. Because we've done that. We've done that. We need to get on top of the mountain. Now, there's probably a smart way around, but you can also just, you know, power up vertical hills and see how it goes. And right now, that suits me fine. The Howling Halls. Exciting. Is there anything on top? There is! It's a chair with a lovely little view and a chest with... Amber Hammer Matrix? Flawless pearl, of course. Necklace of the... Dude! Amber Hammer Matrix. But... Is that a thing? Madness, because I don't have a hammer. What is a hammer? There's no such weapon as a hammer. Right? You have maces, axes, swords, hammers? War... Wait, do you have war hammers? I forget. You have war hammers in Skyrim at least. I forget. Maybe it's a war hammer. Do you have... I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Sounds exciting either. <gasps> that startled. That legitimately startled me. Coming out of the darkness like that. Oh, that's a cool reveal. No, 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 no. Okay. What might reside in a- Hello, are we friends? Die, heretic! <gasps> okay, you know what, that's, that's not what you say to your friends usually, so I'm gonna take that Die, as a big no. Good job there, de-summoning your own pa- <laughs> Alright, the two of us are gonna have fun, but I don't like you summoning all the time, so I'm just gonna make you lay down and- Oh my gosh. Keep- Stop, drop, roll. There we go. Much better. Think on your sins, Apostle. Apostle robes. Oh my gosh, they come with a built-in light effect. That is so cool. Let me see those. Oh, yes. That's my kind of effect. Oh, that's so cool. All right, back to the Mankar Cameron robes. Because they are dope. Shamble skull. I, <laughs> I love it. Everybody took their shoes off before they entered. Aww. Oh, that's great. Oh, hey. You guys are at least going to be easy to see. That's something. What? Oh. He was about to get up again, the other guy. It was interesting. I guess the... Drain fatigue wasn't quite enough. All right, lay down and die. We already have the keys. I don't need more. <laughs> Sorry about that. I want to hurt you though. What if? What if I find it funny? What if I enjoy it a bit too much? Can I get some of this? Whoa! Thank you. Your apostle robes. Are they worth picking up? say so. No. Rude. Okay. Ooh, for me. You shouldn't have. But thank you. Yes, withering moon gold nuggets. Oh, dude, I love offerings. Madness of Speaking of Pelagius, what, what was this called? Alms Collection Chest. Oh. You know I will. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. And with that, we're at, oh, look at that. Look at it. You are not one of us. Well, you, you do not belong here. Quickly. Put on a robe before the others see you. They will kill you on sight. What's up with his face? Please, I mean you no violence. Perhaps you can help me. Uh, I'm listening. Where did your eyes go? Good, good. Your face is known to me. 
one so famous as you cannot expect to walk around the aisles unrecognized, can you? Thank you. You are the Duchess, yes? And Sheogorath has sent you to find Sirta, has he not? He finally seeks to kill her. Oh boy. I'm this, this face is really off-putting. Shugorath is gone. Still, for whatever reason you are here, you mean Sirta ill, yes? Don't bother refuting me, I know the truth. <laughs> yes, I do. But there are those of us here who want her gone as well, yes. <laughs> Those of us who think that maybe we could lead better than she does. So, if you will help me, I will help you. Sirta will die, and you will not need to lift a finger. Then you can take whatever you need and go. Not having to lift a finger <laughs> sounds right up my alley. What do you want me to do? I require weapons. For myself and for the apostles that will help me do the deed. But Sirta already is suspicious of me. She has forbidden me and those who support me from carrying weapons. And suspicious would it look if we were to wander around gathering them. You want me to bring you weapons? <laughs> Very clever, your grace. Bring to me three apostle daggers. Sirta must be slain with the weapons of the light. If I am to take her place, no other weapons. But you must be discreet. Do not remove the robes, or you will be attacked. Even I will have to kill you, so I do not draw more suspicion to myself. And be cautious of killing my allies. I cannot forgive that crime. You will know them, as they are also forbidden to carry daggers. Will you help me bring the apostles to the light and help yourself? I was... I was not ready for this. Uh... <laughs> Why do you want her dead? Too long Sirta has led us here. Always against Sheogorath. Always. We are tired of her vendetta. Sirta brought us here with promises to show us the light. But always is about Sheogorath. Is about revenge. Sirta lied. But when she is done, I will lead the Acolytes to the light. I get it. The Acolytes. That's clever. Why doesn't she have you killed? In truth, Sirta is weak. She needs all the able bodies she can get. This is why you are able to walk in here wearing our robes and not be harmed. Always she wants to strike at Sheogorath. She needs people and she leads them here with lies. I accept your proposal. Good, good. Bring to me the daggers. Then kill Sirta, we will. Exciting. So you want me to wear some apostle robes? I can do that. I, I can dig this style. I can get down with it. But my hood doesn't quite match the rest of it, and that is a sin. I'm not exactly going to blend in very well with the others. <laughs> Especially not with that, I think. I mean... It's, it's the Grey Fox! You know what Miss Farhood will have to do? I'm just making a fashion statement. Can you please stop looking at me like that? Like it's so unsettling. Okay. Howling Halls Congregation Chambers. Very cool. Let's keep our eyes open for any other apostles with daggers. This man has a dagger.
May the light shine upon your face. Oh, you too. What can you tell me about Sirta? Sirta is the light bringer. But she has seen things that we can only imagine. If you are to join us, you must speak with her. Okay. The light. We seek the light with an open eye and an open heart. We carve the flesh away, seeking the light within. The light reveals all secrets and knows all thoughts. None can hide from it, and it shines in all places. Forsake the flesh, and you shall know the light. No, those words, this face, that lighting, um, it's not doing it for me. Shall show you the way. Haskell! <laughs> I need you. Oh my gosh, where is he? Haskell! The Howling Halls, is it? It's been some time since I last saw this place. What can you tell me about it? The Howling Halls are home to Sirta's Apostles of the Light, or whatever it is that they're calling themselves these days. These zealots believe her to be some sort of savior or deity or something. The doctrine is very confusing. The most useful thing that I can tell you about Sirta's followers is that they will not harm anyone who was wearing their robes. Good to know. What can you tell me about Sirta herself? She is an interesting character indeed. She is one of the very few individuals in the Shivering Isles that is party to the secret of Sheogorath. She once made her way into the throne room during the Grey March and saw that Sheogorath was nowhere to be found. However, she did not recognize this event for what it was. She believes that Sheogorath had abandoned the realm out of fear of Jigalag's attack. So while she is party to the secret, she does not know its significance. She believed Sheogorath to be a traitor to his people. She believed it so strongly that she led a revolt against Sheogorath when he returned. She was imprisoned in the Howling Halls for her trouble. That's actually really interesting. My work is never done. Indeed. All right. Bye, Haskell. So, if I was to just kill that man over there and take his dagger, would that not make everybody attack me? How would I get his dagger? Could I pickpocket it from him? We will have to see. For now, though... <gasps> oh, diggle, diggle, diggle. Do you have a dagger? He might be one of the... Another two-headed septum. Cool. Hello, Apostle. Greetings, friend. Have you come seeking the light? Okay, he doesn't have a dagger. So he's probably a friend of our... Khajiit friends. Now then. Oh! Very good, everybody. Ooh, gold. Gold. Isn't this nice? <laughs> oh. What do we got? Black finery. Exciting, exciting. More apostle robes. Another soul tomato. Apostle dagger. Yes. All right, we got one dagger. I think I'm gonna need three. All right, are you bad? No, you're a baddie, you got a dagger. Madness of Pelagius. This man is praying to this artifact right here. Which is the pelvis of Pelagius. An ancient pelvic bone with a small inscription that reads Pelagius III, Third Sun's Dawn. This might be something Una Armina would want for the Museum of Oddities. All right. So I shall take it. Sorry about that. Now. All right. So far one dagger. I know the location of some others carrying daggers. Another dagger man. We have black tar, blister pod caps. Withering moon. Alright, he's just doing his little experiments. 
Don't want to cause too much trouble here. Sure. What's with the eyes of everybody in here? Like, it's just... There's something. There's something. Well, they do like their books. May you never darken. So, he's good. He's not good, but if I was to attack him, what would the other guy do? Oh, a feast for me. Ooh, the, hold on. Singular gold piece. Don't think I'm going to pass that up. I'm not going to raid cupboards. What is this, episode 5? We're beyond that. We could go into the auntie chamber, which I think we're going to do. Let's see if we can get some more daggers without killing them for now. So the pelvis of Pelagius was one thing that I wanted to find. Now that I'm looking over, there was a skull I wanted to find in Milchar, which I don't think I... What, what did I find in Milchar? Because I know I found a skull of Gardeneri. Okay, interesting. Oh, there's so many things. So many things in so many places. And we are in the inner chamber. Hello. The light shines within us. Luminary Kaz. May the light shine upon your face. Who are you? Hundreds of years ago, this very building once served as a temple in Cyrodiil that sought to cure the mad. It was in this temple that Emperor Pelagius was taken during his madness. After his death, in these very halls, the temple was destroyed. We stole the stones from Cyrodiil and reassembled the temple here in the Shivering Isles. That's cool. Her song guides us. It does indeed. You got any daggers? Heart of Order. Jewelry. One more dagger. That's all I need. Very hard chest. Do I need Madness Claymore Matrix? No, I don't. Still, though. Cool stuff. Now, I am actually looking for a book here. May you never darken. It's a book that we could have gotten during the quest. Um, the, the, the ultimate heist. The final Thieves Guild quest. In that library, right before we escaped, the book Fae Falcon 3 exists. And if you leave, you can't get it. Unless you pick it up here in the Shivering Isles. Wonderful. That's the final regular book of the base game that we want to collect. And then I think there's just a few more in the DLC. The flesh is weak. The light is a wall. Here is Serta herself. She is uh, a troubled artist. <laughs> Troubled artist, indeed. You wear our robes, but I hear the darkness that you bring in your very breath. You do not know harmony. You do not see my light. You come to me glowing with violence and death. Your light has no place here. We seek harmony for ourselves and the Shivering Isles. <laughs> I mean, this is a very Marina response, but I think... Keep talking. I sense why you have come. I can hear it in your very breath. You came as a herald of the false god Sheagorath. I know his secret. I have seen his empty throne. Seen it with my own eyes while new Sheath burned in the grey fires of order. Sheagorath refuses to protect us. Mad god? Bah! The Grey March brings darkness. We seek light for all. You survived the Grey March? I did. When the knights came, I fled to the city. As they marched and burned everything to ash, I found a way into the palace. I sought Sheagorath. This is his realm, and I knew that he would protect us. And what did I find? The throne of madness? Empty! Sheagorath had fled, left us all to die. 
I hid as the doors to the throne room burst open. I, I, I don't remember what happened afterwards. I woke up in the marshes and fled underground. How did you end up here? I could not abide Sheogorus Brachale. He brought disharmony. He allowed the Grey March to take us. I gathered those who could see the light, and I led a revolt against him. We were slaughtered by his dark seducers. I alone was spared. And in sparing me, Sheogorath made his final mistake. In this place, I will gather a new army and dethrone our coward god once and for all. Sheogorath is gone. He is? Then the Grey March has begun again. If that is so, then why are you here? I don't think I read the quest description enough. I need your eye. My eye? You you seek to remove the light from me? Why? I plan to take Shiogorath's place. And my eye is required to create an artifact, isn't it? Very well, then. I have survived greater threats than you. Come, then. And I will show you that in the end, my light shall shine the brightest. But I wanted to give daggers. That's where you're wrong. Then you will die. No, I... I... But I wanted to give daggers to the boys. I wanted to give daggers to the boy. I think I'm actually... I want to give daggers to the boys. Really fun having that little conversation with you. I appreciate you so much. However... I want to see this revolt. This revolt sounds like a lot of fun. Let me just double check. Let's see. Symbols of office. The Eye of Serta. I seen something from a woman named Serta. I mean, it is true. I just didn't think a physical eye, you know? So, I'm going to find an Apostle Dagger and we're going to gear up. Can I steal it from you? I cannot. Can I murder you? I mean, the, 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 the answer is yes, I can. Oh, wait, where did your dagger go? There we go. Cool. Give me some of this. Badoosh. I love it when I smack him and there's no charge. Just a hollow thud. Please don't run too far. Please don't run too far. I mean, it's my fault giving this a flea effect. And... Alright. Cool. That went pretty well. Let's go back to our favorite Khajiit boy. Have you brought to me the daggers? I want to see this. You have them, do you? Give them to me. I thirst for Sirta's blood. Here you are. Tonight, the light will shine for us all. Tonight, Sirta's time comes to an end. Let's do this, kitty cat man. Whoa. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, he's a fast boy. The light shines within us. Are you with us? Nope. Oh, there they are. His gang. Take these daggers. Slay her. And at last, we can be on our path to true enlightenment. Here you are, my brothers. At last, we will be rid of Sirta. Come. Now is the time. Yes. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. To the antechamber. All right, gang, are we ready? Kieran, you come to me with blades drawn? What is the meaning of this? I come to relieve you of your torment, dear Sirta. No more lost memories. No more pain. No more misleading us. To the void we will send you. And without you, we will gain the light. You fool. I am the light. Come if you dare. I will cast you into darkness for all eternity. 
Well, we will see about that. Oh, it's a that's a lot of hungers. All right, I'll focus on Cass. You guys deal with Serta. Whoa, indeed, a little stumble, a little stumble. Pathetic what? Pathetic what now? I'll give you pathetic. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you pathetic. That's okay. Well, I need I need to work on my comebacks. All right. I'll take this and this and this and... Is it done? Yeah. It is done. Rakaren's betrayal of Sirta has been successful. Now that she is dead, taking her eye should be a simple matter. Sirta is dead. And now the Apostles fear that there is no one to lead them to the light. I should be the one who is leading, however. Do I have your support? Sure, Serta. I thank you for your help in killing her. Now I can lead my people towards the light. All right, good luck with that. Who will guide us now that she is gone? Should have thought about that before you killed her, huh? Staff of vulnerability, that's a fun one. Ooh, Serta's robes, shield 20% on self, fortify health, 25 points on self. That's fun. And her eye. I have both items. I mean, I'm assuming we're not gonna see a visual effect of collecting... Oh, I mean, yeah, they're close, so, okay. Good, good. I was still curious. Still curious, and we picked up the Fae Folk in the uh, book before we went. Nice! Quest complete in here. We got Fae Folk in 3, we got the Pelvis of Pelagius. However, I think I did miss a thing in Milchar. Ah! So I'm, I'm gonna head back there super quick. It's gonna- we're gonna be there in a- Alrighty, Milchar is here. And this is apparently the body that we found where this skull is actually important. Unlike the other five skeletons in this area, this one matters. So, Lemark skull, got that. Very good. With that done, Knife Point Hollow is our final destination. Oh, yikes. Okay, well, going down. And we're good. Knife Point Hollow should be coming up. In just a little bit. And we have the Eye of Serta and the, the the branch of life. What is it that we got? That fancy, that fancy tree branch of ours. We got the Eye of Serta. Screaming branch, yes, <laughs> correct. Screaming branch. Back to Knife Point Hollow we go. Now, with these artifacts in hand, we will be able to create a powerful, powerful artifact. The Staff of Sheogorath, which allegedly will let us take his place and rule the Shivering Isles. And my torch went out. But that's something we're going to save for the next episode. Guys and girls... Thank you so much for staying tuned to the Shivering Isles Adventures, which is rapidly nearing the end, the completion. We are about to transcend to become Sheogorath, and then we will fight the forces of order. Along the way, we still have a couple of things, like getting calipers and tongs and all of these things, but all in due time. Tune into the next one when the journey continues. Have a still good day, take care. And stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.